Over the past couple of weeks, I've been prototyping the joint for nervous thumbs. This is a sketch of the human hand with the carpo metacarpal joint highlighted. This is also known as the CMC joint and is made by contact between the wrist bone and the first metacarpal bone of the thumb. The surface contact between these bones is saddle shaped, and the motion of the CMC joint is like two saddles with interlocking shapes sliding against each other. I designed a 3D printed uh, model to test the motion of the saddle joint, with graphite powder used between them as lubricant. The two parts can slide against each other to rotate about the x-axis and the y-axis at the same time. You might be wondering why I didn't simply use a ball and socket joint. Originally, I was going to, but I found that ball and socket joints have a very limited range of motion compared to what I need. Another advantage of the saddle joint is that it doesn't allow for rotation about the z-axis. You can think this is the twisting motion. If you were to twist your thumb, it doesn't. So that's exactly what I need for this. The next problem to solve was how to attach the bones together. In human hands, strong elastic fibers called ligaments connect bones together while stretching to allow for movement. My best option to mimic this in the first prototype was to use springs. By attaching small extension springs to either bone, I was able to stabilize the joint and prevent the bones of the joint from coming apart. As all springs were tensioned in the neutral position, it naturally stabilizes back to it. However, the springs are quite bulky, so I'll redesign the mechanism to be a lot more compact before adding the thumb to Nova's hand. Alright, with that, I'll see you in the next update on Nova, my Anthro Wild Dog synth.